always going to be united front workers on the non-communist side as well as on the communist side. We want the Hong Kong market. We like the Hong Kong people. Wanting the Hong Kong market, how has this affected the run-up to 1997? What are the school prizes? Tonight on Focus. may seem like an ordinary day for granting degrees at the University of East Asia in Macau, but it isn't. The man getting an honorary doctorate is Henry Kissinger. He was one of the heavyweights who started the American-Chinese link-up in the 1970s. Anytime you, you bring someone of that prominence, you're using it as a way of cementing your institution's prestige in the minds of people. And particularly if you're desirous of cementing those impressions or that image of your institution with people in the mainland, Henry Kissinger is someone they perk up to. It's a new ways. And for Paul Lin, rector at the University of East Asia, the Kissinger-China interlude was also an event in his life. I really uh, was very eager to see um, a rapprochement, a, uh, a bridge being built between uh, two such, uh, uh, you know, important uh, powers and um, I uh, carried a message to suggest that uh, this uh, meeting would be a very good one. It puts a, a blessing on Paul Lin's leadership there, particularly vis-a-vis -vis the mainland. Um, Paul Lin was very active in Canada and in the United States in the normalization debate regarding normalization relations between China and the United States. Uh, he was one of the leading academics who advocated normalization of relations and was very much involved in the uh, Chinese community in North America to press for that decision. And so he's had a, a long history of ties with leaders in China and certainly a long history of advocating uh, improved relations between Canada and the United States and China. But for Dinah Lee, building bridges has another meaning. There are always going to be united front workers on the non-communist side as well as on the communist side and they are going to promote links with the mainland of a formal and an informal sense. And that's a useful role to play, but it's also a naive role to play, because when the, the, the Communist Party, the Chinese government, has achieved goals at a certain point, uh, it discards those people and it finds new people for the next step. That's the way the party works. The Kissinger era in China is probably over now, but the links which he forged between China and America have carried over to other areas. One of these is the link between universities in China and those in Hong Kong and Macau. And that means it's significant for at least the next decade. The transition stage to Chinese sovereignty is continuing uninterrupted, and the University of East Asia wants to play a big part in those changes. We have met with um, Mr. Chi Fei, for example, and he encouraged us to train as many people as possible. Um, the Portuguese government uh, has also done the same. Uh, the University of East Asia is totally independent, uh, however, and we do not intend to engage in any uh, political uh, activity of any kind. Certainly they want to build links with Macau and Hong Kong for good political reasons. Um, they're trying to build collaborative research arrangements with institutions here. Um, many times the language of instruction is more helpful here. There's less of a, an investment that's needed to make in the scholar before he or she departs. Um, certainly the, it's more, more cost effective in terms of the tuition costs and all here, living costs. One of the political reasons for the China links is simply for China, Hong Kong, and Macau to get to know each other. We need some people who will understand the way the Chinese do things. But I think they also have to understand the way Hong Kong does things. And this is somehow getting lost in the, uh, in, 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 in the dialogue. And for Mark Sheldon, who's been in the China link business for several years, there's another question. Are they 
uh, officials of certain entities in China, and they're basically being sent down here to have a look, to garner some greater sensitivity about the Hong Kong or M Macau situation. Um, Do you think they're doing that? There's some of that, of course. There's a great deal of, and there always has been in these relationships, some educational junketeering. But at the University of East Asia, there seems to be a more practical ideal for the education of Chinese students. We've been asked by <clears throat> the um, Economic Commission as to whether we would be interested in helping them train uh, leading um, officials in some enterprises, uh, providing them with short-term courses in business management. Um, these consist of uh, five key persons, the manager, and then there are three chiefs, chief engineer, the chief accountant, and the chief economist, and then the uh, party secretary. In many instances, the local institution in China sees these programs both as access to a foreign institution, the possibility of sending their people out, and a process of garnering currency for their own use. Fair enough. That, that's quite fair. Uh, unfortunately, once in a while, that process of being concerned about hard currency very much undermines the educational quality and the educational focus of the program. But besides the simple factor of foreign currency, the University of East Asia has other ambitions, and they affect Macau. Macau should and can be a, um, an enclave of European culture with Chinese culture. And uh, Portuguese uh, should not be completely relinquished uh, after 1999. The University of East Asia is six years old now. Some of its degree courses are recognized by the Portuguese authorities, but its influence may not just be in degree recognition. With Chinese connections, its influence could go beyond Macau. We are really sort of a window for foreigners, it's a window in China. For the Westerners, for, for the Chinese, it's a window on the outside world. On their own behalf, the Hong Kong and Macau institutions should expend their energy strengthening those outside links, which the Chinese will want and use as a...